Welcome to the Living Healthy with COPD YouTube channel. Subscribe to get daily videos. Also hit the notification bell and if you like the video, hit the like button. We make videos all about what it is like to live with COPD. The topics range from supplements, diet, exercise, spirituality, medications, and overall healthy lifestyle. Enjoy. What to expect at your first visit to a pulmonologist. If your doctor thinks you have COPD, they may refer you to a specialist called a pulmonologist for a diagnosis. Or you might see a pulmonologist after you've been diagnosed if you're having trouble keeping your COPD symptoms under control. A pulmonologist treats diseases that involve the respiratory system. That includes your lungs, windpipe, and other parts of your body that help you breathe. Why see a pulmonologist for COPD? COPD is sometimes hard to diagnose since other conditions have similar symptoms. A specialist can help ensure you have the right diagnosis. It's also a long-lasting and sometimes complicated condition. A doctor with extra training in lung conditions can help you find the best way to manage it. Some pulmonologists specialize in treating people with COPD. A pulmonologist can also recommend other healthcare professionals such as respiratory therapists and educators to help you with your treatment. Tests you may get. Your pulmonologist may give you a few tests to diagnose your COPD or confirm your diagnosis. A spirometry test, which measures how much air you can exhale, is the main test for COPD. To take it, you blow through a tube that's hooked up to a machine. The doctor may also order a chest x-ray or a CT scan. Your doctor might also do an exercise oximetry test to see what happens to your oxygen levels when you're active. They'll put an oxygen sensor on your finger and have you walk around. They may also give you a six minute walking test to measure how far you can walk in that time. Questions to ask your pulmonologist. Bring a list of questions for the specialist. These might include, do my medications have side effects? What should I do if my symptoms get worse? Can you recommend a pulmonary rehab program? What vaccinations should I get? How can I improve my lung health? How can I get help to quit smoking? During your visit, arrive early to fill out your paperwork unless the pulmonologist's office sent it to you ahead of time. It will include a medical history. You can expect typical doctor's office's tasks such as measurement of height, weight, blood pressure, and temperature. The staff will also check your oxygen levels. The pulmonologist will give you a physical exam. They'll examine your fingers and lips to see if your skin has a blue tinge. They'll also look for swelling in your legs and feet and check the veins in your neck to see if blood is backing up there. Questions your pulmonologist may ask you. Your pulmonologist will ask about your symptoms, including how often you have them. Also, if you've had any success with treatments, share those details too. Tell the doctor if you've gone to the emergency room for breathing problems or have been treated for bronchitis. COPD is more likely to affect people who smoke or have chronic asthma or bronchitis, so your doctor may ask about your smoking history, including how much you smoke or smoked and for how long. They'll also ask for details about your cough. How often do you cough? Does it happen more during one time of the day? If you cough up mucus, what color is it? Have you ever coughed up blood? Also, they'll want to know about your shortness of breath and when it occurs. Which activities make breathing more difficult? How long do you strain to breathe? Is there a certain time of day when it's harder to breathe? Is it harder to breathe during certain seasons? Do you have any allergies?